In this video, I want to show you two things that I think is extremely awesome and very important to know when you're a new user to Fusion 360. It's kind of going beyond that package that you downloaded from Autodesk. Hi everybody, my name is Lars Christensen and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Today I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about the live review session and the Fusion 360 App Store. Two things that I think takes kind of like the software outside the normal just bundle software package you downloaded. But first, as always, I love your comments and suggestions down in the comment area below. Uh, I know a lot of people read them and I can promise you that I read them all. And if you really like what you see here, don't forget, hit the like button. And also if you haven't, would love if you hit the subscribe button. So in a previous video, I talked about how you can invite people to your projects with A360 and Fusion 360. Really great, right? So you're working on your design and you can uh, invite other people to collaborate uh, on that. And you can also go out to A360 where they can communicate out there. But live review session just takes it up a notch. I mean, this here is really something that I think we can all find a way to use unless you're kind of like locked down in a basement, you're one man show and doing your own thing. Hey, it's me. So this is when you're sitting doing editing of your video footage and you realize that you forgot to show how to turn live review on. No big problem, it's super easy. Let me show you. You go up and you select preferences and then you go down and select preview. Now, most CAD software has secret beta forms, but the Fusion guys let you have access to all the things they're working on for the future releases here. You will see that I have them all checked and honestly, I would recommend the same for you. But this is the checkbox here uh, that we need to make sure is checked. So hit apply and okay and you're all set. So let me just show you quickly on the screen what I'm talking about. Now, so I'm working right now on a layout for uh, some CAM toolpath, uh, and I wanna discuss it with somebody else, maybe my supervisor, maybe uh, somebody on the shop floor. Well, what do you do now? You run down the hallway, you try to, you know, hunk them down in the coffee room or the bathroom or wherever they're hiding, and then you got to drag them back to your computer screen uh, and show them. Or maybe you're sending a link via the email, all this stuff. Fusion 360 has this function and it's right in the drop down and it's called live review session. Now, I want to show you this uh, in kind of like real life so you can see it. When I click on it, I get this box over to the right over here that is my live review session in here. And you will see that it's going to populate with my name right now. And then I get this link here. Now to do this, let me just open up my web browser because we're going to do this live. And I did make my web browser kind of like a little small. So we kind of like can try to fit everything on the screen here. So here we got the Fusion 360 window over here. We got just our web browser. So all I'm doing is I'm going to copy this link. So I'm just going to hit the copy button. I'm just going to paste it right over in our window here and hit OK. Now, when I do that, you will see that uh, it jumps out to A360 and the first thing I get prompted on, enter a name. So I'm gonna just make up a name here. So we're gonna say Paul. Now, what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that when I hit join, look over here in the participation box over here because I want you to see how fast this works. So I click join and there is Paul. That was pretty quick. So now we are looking at the screen here and we can see that we are inside of A360. Uh, and, and I talked about before how we can jump out, we can share things out here. And of course, now when I'm out in A360, uh, I can look at the model, I can spin it around. Uh, we can do all different kinds of things. You know, we can do section views, whatever, all these different things that, that we can do out in A360. But it gets better uh, here because if I click, um, if I just make the window a little bit bigger, you will actually see that over here, I kind of like got a panel over here and I can do a little chat. So maybe I just click here and enter a message. So let me type in. I can see the design. And again, as soon as I hit send, check out how fast it is. Bam, now it's over here. So now you can communicate back and forth 
this quick and now you'll see the repliers over here. So that's one thing that uh, is extremely, extremely awesome. But it gets better, I think. So now let me go over to A360 and as soon as I go over there, you will see that I get a red arrow on the, the, in the Google Chrome and that is actually wherever my mouse kind of like is. It is actually better if I start moving <laughs> my design over in Fusion. I just got to get the right button here. Then you will see as I'm spinning the Fusion design around, it updates in, um, in A360. And now you will see that wherever my mouse is, is actually also showing up over on the Google screen. So now you can talk and you can chat and you can say, hey, look at this. And of course, you know, this is great, but it gets better because I can also say over here, well, you know what? I wanna make Paul be the presenter over here. And now if we go back to Google, then, and this works in, in, any, in any web browser, I should say. Now you will see that it goes the other way. I'm spinning it around right now over in the web browser and it updates on the screen. And of course, same thing as before, that now where my mouse is over on the Google screen, that is also where it lives over on, on here. And again, you can go on here and you can actually go out and you can add more people. So Paul can actually click here and hit copy his this link here and now that can be shared out to uh, other users so i think that that is extremely awesome wouldn't you agree honestly now this is the way that you should be communicating with people so now no more sending emails with pictures or files that kind of stuff now you just send them a link for the live review session they can sit in their office in their cubicle wherever they are and look at the same design you're doing following along when you're rotating it it gets better that link actually also works on your phone or your mobile devices android or apple or whatever so you can actually go ahead and send that link to somebody else and they can call it up on the phone and they can do the same thing. You can actually rotate the model on your phone and it will rotate on the screens also, both the web browser and inside of Fusion. It's kind of hard to do the cursor thing though uh, on, the, on the phone, but all the, you know, following along, if it's just a review, it's awesome. Another thing just to add that too, uh, that you probably should know about is that there is an A360 app for your mobile device also and that one is extremely good now you don't need that to do what i just showed here that's important to know so there's no downloads of anything no more asking people to download some kind of a viewer but if you are a fusion 360 user if you do have a smartphone you should definitely check out the a360 app now the next thing i want to show you is the fusion 360 app store and this is another thing that I think is extremely uh, valuable to know is available to you as a new user. So let me show you. So right inside of Fusion, you can actually jump right to the App Store. There's a couple different places you can do it. I'll show you. You can go in here and to the drop down, and you can go into the Fusion App Store. You can also go over here to add-ons and go into the Fusion App Store. This is also where you can control some of these add-ins. One of the ways to get to the store doesn't really matter. What it's gonna do is it is going to open up a web browser. So here we are looking at the Fusion App Store, available for everybody. And out here you have free apps and you have apps that you gotta pay a few bucks for uh, to get going. So I would definitely recommend you go out here and search for some of the different apps that is available out here. There's a bunch of great ones. So let's just go ahead and select one of these apps. I'm just gonna select this bevel gear design here. So I'm gonna click on it. So we'll take you to this place for the app here. And there's all kinds of great information down here, comments. Uh, you can rank them, definitely recommend to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead here and click uh, download. And uh, the apps downloads pretty quickly here. I'm gonna hit run. And then we can go ahead and install it. Now, be noticed that there is also view documentation uh, that you can go in and you can get kind of like uh, some some help documents. With that, I'm just going to go in and restart Fusion 360. So let me just close that down, and we will fire that up again. 
Now, when it's fired up, you will find it. And the way to find it is if I go to Sketch, you will see that it's sitting right down here uh, as an app that I can go ahead and create the bevel gear. And don't forget, like I showed in the previous video, that you can add it to the toolbar if you want to. But now if I click on bevel gear, then you actually get a box over here. And here we can now modify all the things uh, we need for this bevel gear. Click OK. And there is our bevel, bevel gear. It's ready to be, of course, moved around. We can place it wherever we want it. Just hit OK. And now we have a gear created. Now, like I said before, all this is controlled up here in the scripts and add-ons. So if you do want to go up here, you can actually go into an add-in section. And from here, you will see there's the bevel gear. And you could actually control if it should run and start up or not run and start up. So I think that Live Review Session and the App Store are two things that is kind of like taking the software beyond what you normally would expect when you just downloaded uh, this CAD and CAM package and installed it on your computer. So two things that can be very valuable and definitely, I think as a beginner, you need to know that you can kind of like stretch out and get more stuff. And a lot of the stuff in the App Store is free. So that is pretty awesome. So I really hope that you found this video helpful. I think there's a couple of cool tricks like I said in the beginning, would love your comments and suggestions down in the comment area. If you like what you saw, don't mind, hit that like button. And if you have not already, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Until the next time, have an awesome day.